everybody it's on and I just wanted to cut a quick little video for you uh, to touch base with a, a, some themes that are going on this month and one of the really big themes that we have happening right now is about aggression um, in the news we've had a lot of shootings going on and this is showing up in the codes right now and it's very interesting the way it is showing up um, we wonder I've had many people go what is happening? <laughs> what is happening in our world? Where is all of this anger coming from? Why all of a sudden these shootings? And, you know, they, they want to bring up these government issues of gun laws and this and that. And it's really not about that. It's about some much bigger, deeper issues. Um, matter of fact, a friend of mine, Lorraine Cohen, she deals in a lot of work with, um, you know, knowing your your worth and your self-value and she um, deals a lot in the not good enough pattern and so I, she was one of the people of a few that came to me and said it's like the whole world's gone crazy and and what is this about so I wanted to delve a little bit into what all of this aggression is about what's behind it from a code perspective what's going on why shootings versus something else right now and I'm not going to get into the whole political arena or the whole political side of things but let's look at codes just from an aggression aspect and what's happening with the individual because when we look at this piece with the individual we're also going to be able to understand the whole we're also going to be understanding other aspects about ourself and why it ties in to some of these aspects a big piece of what I talk about a lot or what I deal with in codes and what codes help with a lot is alignment. It's coming into balance. It's coming into a sort of focus. It's coming into a piece of being in flow. So when we have aggression come up, whether it's within ourselves or we're seeing it out globally in the world like we are right now, what we're seeing is individuals who are trying to create a balance in their life. They're trying to offset some things. They've had a lot of things repressed, a lot of things pushed down, and a lot of things restricted along the way. And when this happens, it's naturally got a balance. Energy is always balancing itself. So when we hit one extreme, we're going to bounce back to another extreme as a means of trying to, to eventually come back to center point and come into that harmony or that balance and, and to find the, the aspects that are there. When we talk specifically about aggression, what is happening with this is the individuals that, that lash out with aggression, that come out in this reaction, have been in a space of not getting the support that they need from others along the way. They have been in a place of not being heard. They've been in a place of not being able to be creative, not being able to express themselves. Uh, oftentimes this comes about from very early in life and through a repeating pattern where their voice has been squashed along the way, where they haven't been able to speak up about who they are. They haven't been able to be who they are. They felt that their circumstances in life, uh, that they didn't have enough of what they needed, whether that was resources or people in their life that supported them in bringing their dreams and their visions about. So those dreams and those visions remained repressed. They remained pushed down and held within. And as we know with anything, when we hold it within, it builds and it builds and it builds and it builds with this pressure. And at some point, that pressure has to come out because it becomes explosive is what happens. The more pressure that builds up, the more explosive it gets. And this is what happens a lot of times when we've looked at people who have been bullied, that have been manipulated in pieces like this. And a lot of times when we hear about these shootings that are going on, we hear these people enter it a lot of these things. Well, it actually shows that in the codes. So this is actually a piece in the codes where the people that are lashing out right now have not gotten that support along the way. They have not had the supported people they've needed. They may have had people that supported them in doing something other than who they were. You know, um, their family, even if they love them, may have said, hey, we'll support you in some big corporate job, but we're not going to support you on being who you are and taking an entrepreneurial 
vision or aspect to things and that may have played in really hard for them. So when that gets squashed down and squashed down, what happens is they learn to silence. They learn to stop following their dreams. They shut down their creative energy. And anytime we shut down our creative energy, we are suffocating. We are operating strictly on programmed patterns. And when we're doing that, it becomes devastating because we keep disconnecting from our soul and disconnecting from our soul. And the more we disconnect from our soul and the less we can get from knowing ourselves, and this is particularly true with people who are in a highly transformational stage. They're in a, a stage of feeling that these are oftentimes souls who are in a growth period. Let's put it that way. They're souls that are awakening to their wholeness. They're becoming aware of that again. They're, they're stepping out of the dreams and the visions, but they don't know how to do it and they don't know how to have the support to do it. So they're at a very transitional point in their existence and in the experience that they're having. And the experience they're having is weighing so heavy on them. So literally by the time aggression hits, it's a cry for help. Uh, we don't acknowledge it that way. We turn on these people who have been turned on over and over and over again in their life and 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 just chew them out and just, you know, tear them down for having this aggression come out. And this is why it's so important that we do express our emotions along the way because that aggression is really built up emotions. It's built up of not being heard. It's built up of not being accepted along the way. And this is a piece where we're feeling very challenged because we really don't need other people's acceptance when we're standing in our wholeness. We don't worry about whether we're being accepted or not. But it is important, especially under this 11-11-11 gateway, and I say 11-11-11 because 2018 deducts to 11, and that's the day I'm filming this on, is that it's very important that we stop standing in that place and worrying about whether others are accepting us because it's about coming into harmony, balance, and unity. And that is really, really huge with this particular portal. It's it's very, very huge under this energy aspect. So when we look at these people, we need to stop and 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 wonder, you know, we need to consider along the way before things hit aggression what are your dreams and visions? Are you supporting people in that? Are you helping them bring out their unique identity? And are you doing that for yourself? I have done a lot of work lately and stepping in as I have <laughs> into this on energy and coming forward this way and putting forth the code journey and working with the code journey. I've had to let go of that. I've had to let go. Is anybody going to accept this work? Is anybody going to accept what I'm putting out there right now? Is And and I haven't even worried about it. And, and I think that's an exciting space for me to get to because I can relate to those aggression aspects. I, in younger years, um, growing up in this human existence, had a lot of aggression. And it was exactly that. I did not have the people supporting me that I needed supporting me. I did not have, even though I was in a good family, I had people that loved me, I had people that cared about me, but they didn't support me in being me. And I think this is so important because we don't need a bunch of clones. We don't need a bunch of robots. What we need is people to be them, their own unique individual self. And we need to support that because that's how our whole becomes stronger. Our whole within as well as our whole as a collective on this earth, as groupings, as generations, as people, as a human race, as life here. Now another piece of this, when we bring in the aspects of shootings, because that seems to be the method or the form of things that have been coming up, is the shooting aspect, a single shooting, an individual isolated single shooting, and we, we've had plenty of those too lately. When we look at that, comes down to being behind people who have been shoved off by themselves, who have tried to love, who have tried to put themselves out there, 
and that's been rejected or it hasn't worked out. They have in some way been isolated and these are people who have not come into enough of an acceptance of themselves, enough of self-love. Um, they have not stepped enough into their spiritual path or awareness to be able to handle that isolation. And I know even a lot of people who are well on their spiritual path who do not handle that isolation well. So it is a piece that you can imagine if you've got all this repressed energy and then you're shoved off, isolated away from society and isolated away from people because you feel different. You're not interacting with people in a way that you're comfortable. You're not finding people who you resonate with, things like that. And this is what's happening building up to a shooting. There's a lot of pieces. It doesn't, it's, it, people don't just walk out the door and go, I'm going to go shoot somebody. <laughs> It doesn't it doesn't work that way. There's all this buildup and all these things that have been going on ahead of that. Now, when we look at a collective of shootings going on in the world, what we're understanding and what that is showing us through the code perspective is that there's a high level of manipulation. There's a high level of lies going on in the world. And what happens is these lies then go in and they're designed on a program level, on a code level. These lies and these manipulations and all the, the, this deception comes in and it hits these people who are sitting there isolated, who have had not the help that they've needed to be who they are. And it sets a trigger or a chain off. Um, kind of like, let's say you, you have somebody that's hypnotized and they've hypnotized a group of people and there's a keyword and then that keyword gets broadcasted across a television set or a song or a radio station and all of a sudden everybody who's programmed to that keyword goes off and does a certain action. It's a very similar process when we look at what's happening with these shootings. It's a process of cause and effect. It is not just this random thing and some of these things are very very well triggered so when we have people sitting in the space, and the reason I'm bringing this up is aggression is connected to not being able to honor our creativity. And this is really, really key. So I want you to think about this over the next month. Think about this with this powerful portal that we have going on. Where can we find the balance? Where can we honor the emotions along the way? How can we support ourselves and others? in being who they are and being comfortable with who they are and honoring who they are in positive ways. I know you can do it. I'm taking a few days. You might notice I'm in a different environment. I'm not outside today because I don't have a lot of outside time to work with right now. <laughs> and so I am on a little journey myself right now doing some transformational work. It's my birthday coming up and so I am honoring personal care time, which is exciting to everybody around me because they know that I haven't done enough of that. <laughs> so take some time for yourself, honor your own creativity, and I will connect up with you next month. Bye-bye, everybody. And don't forget to join me, by the way, on the Code Journey.